You have reached Atheist Republic voicemails. God may not be listening to you, but the citizens of the Atheist Republic are. Leave us a voicemail on atheistrepublic.com for a chance to have your message broadcast to our followers worldwide. Send us your opinions, stories, advice, or concerns. Together, we'll build a platform for atheist voices all around the globe. Maximum number of wars in world history were caused by religion. Many deaths in a year in the whole world right now are called upon by religious people. So I'll say, fuck religion. Hashtag Atheist Republic. Have you ever noticed that when you ever mention that you're an atheist, the people around you always have a look of awkwardness on their face? But it's okay. Because most people don't know who you are. And if they don't, well, who cares what they think, right? I think it's okay to just be who you want to be, who you believe you are, and what you think you should do, how you should live your life. No matter what other people think, don't let anybody tell you what their beliefs are and that they are better than yours, for you are you. Hello, I'm from Afghanistan. It's a dangerous country to be atheist in, but even more painful is that you're not able to express yourself, you're not able to talk about what you believe in, because you can very well be killed for it. So, I, I'll, I just discovered about this website, Atheist Republic, and I would really like to thank the um, founders as well as the workers of this website for um, giving us the opportunity to reach our fellow atheists out there in the internet. So today I want to freely talk about Islam and how Islam is not a religion of peace. So, you know, I think Muhammad was sar sarcastic when he uh, named his religion Islam, which means religion of peace. Because for one thing, it is not a religion of peace. He was sarcastic. In particular, I want to share one story with you uh, about when Muhammad captured Mecca. He he sent he sent envoys to the nearby kingdoms and um, to tell them that they should accept Islam. So the ones that did accept Islam and uh, proclaimed Muhammad as messenger of God, they were safe and they were not attacked. But the others that did not were attacked and brutally killed. So if that's not sarcastic, what is? Hello, this is Paco Aradillas from Mexico. I'm proud to be an atheist, and I strongly believe that raising our voice could help others to dare call themselves atheists for the sake of, and for the sake of knowledge. I believe seeking a peaceful and united world can only be achieved by putting our differences aside. Please don't let your silence endorse those who kill in the name of myths. Speak your mind. Hey, this is Saud from Saudi Arabia, and I'm an atheist. And it's very hard here, and I feel lonely because I cannot talk about it to anyone and is conflicting my freedom in life that's it for now hey uh this is eli from south carolina usa the buckle of the bible belt of the united states i'm not sure what to add here or where i would even start and not end it long if you could see the banner image uh that's been on my personal facebook page since 2012 and be and it could be seen that you know with reading it uh what it says that would sum up uh, quite nicely 
some things about me regarding religion, harm and hate, their intertwining and my views on it. But I'll say just a little more and be on my way. I, um, I personally find labels too often uh, to be lazy and dangerous things. But hey, um, if you wanted to call me an atheist and it's strict definition, along with the term agnostic, you know, no sky daddy belief, but I also don't claim to know the impossible to know. Uh, well, that would fit nicely if I was, you know, forced to, well, choose or you want to choose for me. Yeah, okay, that fit. Uh, but I'd prefer to go with less loaded labels. I find it's always best uh, if you can get to know a person instead of relying on figuring the person out. It's, you know, it's best to get to know the person, um, you know, instead of trying to figure out the person. It's a better well source, source for knowledge about an individual. Something for many people to think about when they ponder on about people that use labels for themselves, such as an atheist. You know, they, a lot of people tend to want to figure that out, figure them out based on that and all. And instead of just getting to know the person, which would teach them more, I think. But anyway, if a person can hate the sin, but not the sinner, I can hate the belief, but not the believer. Reason or madness, it's a personal choice. So it's come down to the point where I have to choose one God over another. First of all, that's absurd. Because what if I'm wrong? What if your God is the true God? What if my God is the true God? Does that mean you're less of a person? Less of a human being than I am, or I'm less of a human being than you are because you chose the right God and I didn't. God does not exist, and if He did, why would He make me an atheist? Why? Why do I not believe in Him? I'll tell you why I don't believe in Him because I'm a rational thinker because I, I I've taken the time to research all of these different religions to find out what is right, what is wrong. And the only conclusive answer I've ever been able to come up with is that everybody that believes in a God is wrong. And so what? If I'm wrong, I've made the wrong choice. If I pick the wrong God, well then, based on many religions, okay, he'll forgive me. Based on some religions, he won't forgive me, and he'll send me to burn and die for all eternity in a fiery pit of hell and smoke and flames and ashes. And that's not a God I want to follow anyways, because he's obviously vindictive and just a terrible God or person, whatever you want to believe. That, that uh, what it comes down to. You, you've chosen a belief. I've chosen mine, and I believe that mine is much more rational than yours, and that's okay. But please, don't sit here and tell me that Jesus or Buddha or Vishnu or, or whatever your crazy God is, is more important than my life. My life is my choice. And if you follow a God, chances are that you follow the fact that they believe that they created us with a ch choice to believe or to uh, have free will or to believe that this is wrong and this is right. So the only thing that feels right to me is to not believe in a God because if I did, then I would believe in something that goes against all my beliefs as a rational, realistic, intelligent, creative, important person. So, what do you, what do you say? What do you, what do you say to convince somebody to believe in themselves? without believing that they are the creation 
of, of something beyond themselves. No, just be you. Just be a good person. Don't treat people bad. Don't hurt people. Don't hurt animals. Don't hurt living things in general. That's completely, completely easy to understand without the belief of a God. So I'll end with this. I don't agree with you. I think you're wrong. And if I'm wrong, yeah, you'll probably forgive me. Please consider supporting us by sharing the podcast with your fellow heathens or donating by going to AtheistRepublic.com and clicking on support. Subscribe to Atheist Republic voicemails on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. And please leave us a review.